Good afternoon students I am Dr Seema Wazirkar today we are going to discuss about the evolutionary computing so what is evolutionary computing this is a one sub area of computer science you can say uh, it is studied as a part of artificial intelligence as well as soft computing so today we are going to discuss it under soft computing you may guess that uh, it is having some word called as evolutionary so based on that you may think like uh, this is coming from some biological term evolution okay yes it is so we are going to use the biological evolution term whatever concepts are present in that particular biological thing is going to utilized for the computation purpose and uh, as you all are aware about when we do computations to solve the problems right so here we are going to utilize evaluation concepts basically it is present in the biological uh, aspect and that we are going to utilize for solving our complex problems so through this we will be just providing the solution to solve any complex problem present in our area so you may say that this evolutionary computing is a inspired uh, by biological evaluation so there will be so many uh, possible solutions uh, available through this process because uh, actually you will be having uh, different operators like mutation crossover recombination by utilizing this you may get uh, multiple possible uh, solutions so out of those solutions you need to uh, just select the optimal solution as a final solution so you should understand uh, first what is it mean evaluation in biology so then you can easily relate this with our computing part okay so i'll tell you this in the view of biology so basically first you can consider it as a like random variation is considered for just getting the different sequences of the gene to produce the new offspring and one another thing you can consider under this one that is uh, whatever things you are creating means offspring that should be adaptable with the environment uh, you may heard about the survival of the fittest right so in this case what happens which offspring will have the high fittest value means if they are having strong fitness value then they will survive else uh, like there are very less chances to survive by the low fittest value of springs okay so then in this way only we are going to consider for it uh, like for the computation here first i want to tell you that whatever optimal solution means what so optimal or uh, as i have provided in this slide uh, algorithm for the global optimization so that is global optimization means which is the best solution available in the given population population means all the uh, collection of all the possible solutions individually those solutions can be called as candidate solution also or individual solution you can refer so those are generated by using random variation and for that purpose we can use different operations as i uh, told before mutation crossover recombination etc fine now you must um, got this basic idea behind the evolutionary computing now here in slides i have provided uh, like information in more technical part that is like technical terms are there as a 
family of population based trial and error problem solver so why we are calling it as a trial and error problem solver because here we will be having multiple solutions and which one is the most optimal that we have to select right and uh, one more thing it is defined over here with the meta heuristic or stochastic optimization character so what is the meaning of meta heuristic and stochastic you should understand meta heuristic is the like whatever just having the heuristic characteristics so what is heuristic characteristics which is like if you are changing the environment still it is able to uh, just solve that problem with the uh, very good uh, accuracy you can say like yes, stochastic also you already known so it is similar kind of things uh, you can consider stochastic which is the opposite of deterministic you can say it is dynamic environment so it should generate uh, like new situation based on that it should tackle the new environment conditions okay so you will understand once we will uh, discuss about the evolutionary algorithm i'll tell you the flow and based on that you will properly understand these two terms right so in evolutionary computation an initial set of candidate solution means individual solution okay individual why i am telling it because once you have so many candidate solutions together which is called as population okay so this population you need to just regenerate again and again through different iterations right so you can see in the diagram first it is provided that once you initialize this thing uh, like population you will be having which is the random one and based on uh, that population you have to select the parent okay so once you select the parent that probably it will be random only so once you take the uh, just select the parent then you have to apply the recombination and mutation or any other operations on this to get the offspring once you get the offspring what you will be doing you will be checking the fitness of that particular offspring if it is satisfying the condition mentioned uh, like about the fitness if it is qualifying then what will happen it will just go and replace the population means it will become the part of population so in next generation you will have those offsprings as new generation population okay so this thing is just again and again iteratively happening that's why uh, we can say that like whatever offsprings who are satisfying the fitness conditions those are going to reproduce uh, and uh, means those will be selected and utilized for the reproduction purpose okay so in this way uh, like this is very very uh, means related to all the biological terms only so basically however all things are happening in biology similarly here also everything is happening whatever computations we are going to do that will be similar to the biological procedure of evolution okay got it so next okay uh, so it is all about the evolution what i have told till now now once you get the new generation then for again you have to iterate the process and get the again new generation which is replacing the earlier population uh, i think you must get the basic idea related to evolutionary computing so now we will just discuss about the evolutionary algorithms